So finally today we get to test out the tracks in Japan. As you guys know, if you guys have been following me for a while, Japan is probably my favorite, my most favorite setting to drive on. And so these are the tracks I've been actually looking most forward to. And um, I, when clicking this thing, I saw like the outlay of the map and I'm a little disappointed because they are not as long as the ones we did yesterday in India. But nonetheless, it's always awesome to drive in Japan. And I was actually, I was thinking about just driving JDM vehicles for today like but I realized that we don't have that many many uh, Japanese manufactured vehicles in the game the only ones that we have is the GTR and the 370Z if I'm not mistaken just those two but anyways we're gonna go ahead and get on the track right here um we are doing just a time trial we're gonna get a feel for the track right now and just like the last other two ones that we were doing or the last other two settings that we were doing we're gonna leave uh, the last track for racing. So, oh my lord! Now, I like the reason I, I haven't said the reason why I like Japan, and that's just because it looks so damn beautiful, man. Um, I know you can't see it right now because we are driving at night, and I, that's kind of my fault because I set everything on random. But if you guys like play or drive like during like the like the sunrise around that the early morning or the sunset, man the setting and just the vibrancy of the colors and the flowers it just looks so freaking amazing but even then right now it just looks pretty sick to be honest i mean just driving around here i'm surprised we actually haven't even crashed yet but these urban these new urban tracks man they are so legit like they are really awesome man ah uh, like i said i like i said in my previous video it's so sad to know that evolution studios won't be making a sequel to this game because i feel like it's so underappreciated i mean the true racing fans, the true like racing enthusiasts know that this was a heck of a game. Like only people that you know are casual racing gamers that they won't understand like how great this game was. But anyways, gonna try to get it sideways whenever we do have a little nice corner. Let's see if we can throw it in here. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh my god, just like that weight distribution though. Oh my god. I am not the best drifter. You guys know I'm not the best drifter. And this proves it right there. Holy crap because of my lack of commitment sometimes i like i don't realize when i should freaking be ripping the e-brake like right here oh nope just a bunch of power sliding but yeah it gets even harder it gets even harder to uh, do drifting with the hard code mode man and for one thing it does make it easier sort of like to throw the back end out because like the traction is off and all that stuff and so you kind of get to throw it out more easier and I don't know why I just did that. So you get to throw it more easier but at the same time it's harder to control it if you oversteer it. It's like, it's really tricky if you want to fix your gear, like to counter steer it. But anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and get right into the next track. Alright, so we're still at night for this next track and that wasn't me, I saw it. That was the AI driving by itself. But, okay, can we get to drive already? Okay, here we go. Um... It's, it's, I'm kind of bummed that uh, we are still driving at night and I guess that was my fault again because I didn't change the settings. I play, everything's on random so we're at the mercy of the randomizer thingamajigger. But okay. Alright so I probably shouldn't have chosen a Corvette for this setting. I know it's not the most practical thing to do. Picking a muscle car in a Japanese sort of like environment. And um, you guys saw it right there, there's so much like oversteer with this car, it's like really really tail happy, especially with the rain on the track already. My god, oh. understeering and oversteering like a bitch man, but gonna try as best as we can just to try to get a feel for this track. Oh my lord, no 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 no, damn it, so much damn understeer, god damn it. Alright, so just cruising around man, uh, it feels like this is pretty much the same track as the last one it, it just kind of gets the same vibe am i doing the same damn one for some reason i felt like i was doing the same as the last one but that little section right there kind of it kind of uh, that's what kind of made me realize that i wasn't because that wasn't in the last one and this this section here too so throwing it in here can we do it can we get it no uh it's, it, if i press down the full throttle man this thing will just oversteer so much so Oh my god, I gotta get better at my drifting in this game though. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's get it, let's get it, man. Let's get it, throw it. Weight distribution, no! Oh my god. I kind of locked the brakes right there, so it was my fault because I tried to kick that uh, rear end to distribute the weight to the right. Oh my lord. Distribute the weight to the right side of the vehicle, but it just wasn't working. Here we go, here we go. Let's see if we can get it here. 
Oh, can we? No. Oh, man. Come on, man. I'm going to try to get at least one drifting section down. Like, at least, not perfectly, but at least get it right. But, because that's really kind of, that's a chip on my shoe. Okay, nope. I was going to say, that's just been a chip on my shoulder, but oh my god. Maybe pick a better vehicle than this, man, because I'm having such a hard time handling this Corvette. All right, here we go. Let's let's see if we can get it here. No! No! Oh, no, 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 no. That little curb right there. Oh, that threw, that threw the car off, man. It's, it unstabilized it. Oh, my God. Let's see if we can get it here. This is probably going to be the last one. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, man, that goddamn overseer. So, screw this. I'm going to go ahead and... I just get on to the next one, man. Let's see if we get here. No, 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 no. All right, I promise you guys my driving isn't that bad. Um, I just feel like I just shouldn't have picked that Corvette. That's the main thing, man. But I don't know why I'm saying that because I feel like I just contradicted myself because I just picked the F50 for this track. Oh, my God. But this is what I was talking about in regards to the setting of, like, Japan. Look how amazing that looks during the day. And this is, I believe this is around like uh, the morning time. I think it's like maybe like seven or eight. And this is the main reason why I love Japan, man. It just looks so insanely beautiful, man. And this track, I, this track looks actually fairly long. So, oh my God, I am not gonna settle for anything less than first place. So here we go. Oh my God, this 488, it's right in front of my, oh, okay, here we go, here we go. And I promise you guys, I didn't try to do that on purpose. It's just the car just did that by itself. Oh, here we go. I know this Adam is going to pull right away, man. That acceleration under that, oh my God, under the hood of that car is just insane. And we're going to get a collision penalty. Holy shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. No, 488, get out, man. Get out, get out. No, oh man. All right, here we go, here we go. Uh, taking that a little, that was a little too wide. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. That's steering though, man. Oh, what? In, oh my god come on i cannot believe we are in fifth place right now oh my god here we go throwing it in there counter steering it like a bitch but oh my god we really have to fight it with this steering man what the crap okay let's see i am not gonna be in fifth place no oh at least i didn't get no penalty there. and i'm gonna get it because i tapped the wall okay all right so i'm deciding to give it another final go this is the um this is the reverse version of the first track we did earlier and i know we haven't done more than three races for these uh, episodes but today i just don't want to leave without uh, a win so we're actually going to do it and the reason well not the reason and the way we're gonna we're gonna avoid losing is by picking an all-wheel drive car man all-wheel drive car every day all day and you guys can see why right here because I have way more control over the vehicle than I did with those other rear wheel drive cars and maybe braking a little better. Oh, okay. That was not my fault. Okay. It's kind of maybe a mistake that I took the HUD off, but I think it makes it, it makes it more immersive and it kind of makes it more difficult than I should probably want it. But still, I enjoy a challenge and maybe I should have put the HUD on. Okay. Oh man. I, oh, I, I did Oh my god. I thought we didn't get a corner penalty there, but we did. Here we go. We probably do need the HUD on, so I'm going to turn it back on whenever I can because, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my, no. No, 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 no. That's the only thing I hate about Drive Club, though, is these penalties. Oh my god. These things aren't practical. My word. I went from first place to last place. Are you serious right now? Come on, come on. Oh, that understeer, and that's just gonna kill us even more. All right, so I guess today is not my day, man. I don't know. I felt like today was gonna be my day because, like, we're driving in Japan, my favorite setting and everything, but the racing gods didn't want me to win today, so that makes me sad. But I'm at least gonna try to catch up to third here and try to overtake him because that's probably the best position that we can hope to achieve with us, the terrible driving that we had. Oh, we took out that cone. What the crap? Oh my god. So, I promise you guys, this is not my best driving. Oh my god, I'm just not even giving a crap now. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. As always, make sure to leave a like if you liked it, dislike it if you dislike it, subscribe to the channel for more Drive Club videos. So I think tomorrow will be Norway, and I know we only have Norway and then we have Sweden left. 
So I may just probably upload those two tomorrow, but separate videos. So yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in this whole week for this whole series that I've been doing. It really means a lot that you guys have been liking the videos. And also, thank you to the new subscribers. It really means a lot to me that you hit that subscribe button. So yeah, guys, I will see you guys here back tomorrow. I hope you all have a good-ass day. Until then, have a good one. Take it easy and peace.